There are some who call me time, says Yeshman, do you have a middle name? Yes. Metallical says, is your wife making G.I. Jane too? I don't got a wife. I don't believe in him. Scove T. T. from Canada says, what's your highest pinball score? I want to know what a pinball is. What is that? Joe and T, ha, he, bay, petiste more, says rice cakes. You like them? Yes. Brad Belayley Snow says, I bet this guy smells like Geritol and Bengay. You're half right. I smell like Geritol and Bengay, but I'm not a guy. Nerdy girl Irene says, where's Kalek? I don't know who the hell Kalik is. Do you mean Kolak Kolak? Wait a minute. I'm not the one who asked the questions. You asked the questions. Scott from Canada says, we're asking tech questions here. Status on reopening Taleshmech. I, I would answer that, but it's incomplete and it doesn't have a question mark. It's more just like words that you said. Dr. J. Jacobs said, how about that guy, Will Wheaton? Never heard of him. I know a, a Billy Horton. Nerdy girl Irene says, yes, that is what I meant. Any other questions? <clears throat> Sko TT from Canada says, do you have any investment advice? Yes. Metallical says, what's a good question? That's my favorite one so far. There are some who call me time. Says, are you going to open Taleshmech with less food poisoning? Yes and no. It's going to have more food poisoning. I call it the pandemic special. Mechaholic says, can atheists get insurance policies that cover acts of God? Yes. Tim Horton's brother. Uh, Brad Belily Show says, how's your sex life? No. Finally, Fremensta says, my question is, do you have any questions for us? Yes. Nerdy Girl Irene says, what would you do for a Klondike bar? I'd beat a guy on the bottom. Graham Chapman's mom says, this is fantastic. Fantastic. That's not a question. Metallical says, Laverne or Shirley? I did them both. Shirley was better. She bounced around like a maniac. The only woman I ever had that was wilder in the sack than Shirley was uh, Irma Bombeck. That's the only one I ever had who she went nuts on me. She went nuts on my nuts. I've had a lot of the sex. Ruby Jim says, share your weight loss tips, Yeshman. Not a question, but I'll still share. Cut off your legs. Boy, do you, lo you lose weight instantly. A whole, but you never realize how heavy your legs are. They are very heavy. FFS. Sure. There are some who call me time. Says, have you ever done... Imogene coca. Yes, and it's delicious. I like a nice hot Imogene coca in the evening. If it's cold outside, you got a fire going. You make a nice hot Imogene coca yeah, with, with marshmallows. What the hell is this? What's this thing? What's that supposed to do? Getting the saw, says Ruby. Oh, good. You're going to cut your legs off. Good. Tell them Yeshman sent you when you get to the hospital. So Yashman, it's all they're like, oh wait, no legs. Boy, did you did you watch Yashman? That's usually what happens. 
Nerdy girl Irene says, do you talk about Bruno? No. Are there any other questions? I'm long overdue for a nap, and I just want to get the hell out of here. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to limit the amount of questions I'm going to take to end this up. I'll take 27 more questions, and that's it. Then I'm out of here. Skanate from Canada says, what was your happiest day ever? Never had one. Metallical says, is C for cookie? And is that good enough for you? Yes. And yes. Slit says, hello, yes, man. Not a question. I said, do you have questions? I don't want comments. You can stuff your comments in a sack. A ball sack. Slit says, how are you this evening? Terrible. So a little bit better than usual. Graham Chapman's mom says, face with a beard and, and some teeth and uh, a fist. Slit says only 27 more. No, now you're down to like 23. There are some who call me time. Says, don't you, uh, don't you hate how on a cruise... They make you meet at the mustard station and then there's no goddamn mustard. Yes, I do hate that. It's maddening. I show up. I got my pastrami sandwich. I got my coleslaw. What the hell is this? What's this? What's that mean? The hell is that? Who the hell is Retoofered Retoofered IP? What the hell is that? Uh, nerdy girl Irene says, how about that girlfriend in college? Never went to college. But most of my girlfriends were in college. When I dated Bur Irma Bombeck, she was 19. Dr. J. Jacobs says, when are we going to rearrange our sock drawers? You're supposed to do that during the stream. During the stream, watch it on your phone and rearrange your sock drawer. It makes the stream better. Metallical says 37 at once. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Root, root, Ruth. Ruth E. Erford, IP, said, who the fuck is this guy? I can do without the cursing. Lamau, L Brad Belaley Show says, long time listener, first time caller. How's your goiter? Good. Slit 5118 said, yes, man. That's not how you spell the name, idiot. Are you a yes man? No. Ruth Ruth says are any sock drawer rearranging tips. Yes. Do, would you like to know what they are? All right, I'll tell you. If you if you if you're looking to rearrange your sock drawer, what you want to do is you look you look in the drawer. And there's going to be socks everywhere. First thing you do is you take some that's on the right side. You move them to the left side. Then you take some that's on the left side. Wait for it. You don't know what I'm going to say. You move those ones to the right side. Then you shuffle the front socks to the back. You take the back socks. You put them in the front. Then you take the whole drawer out and you flip it around and put it back in. There are some who call me time says, how is your beside us? It's terrible. My doctor said, he said, oh, you should go to Chicago for your bursitis. 
I said, oh, is that a good place for Besides? He says, it's the best place for Besides. I said, why? He said, that's where I got mine. That's where I got mine. Is this on? Hello? Does this work? That's where I got mine. Rootford says, I know who you are. You're the man who stares at me while I pee. I didn't know you could see. I Good, it works. Thank you, Ruth. I didn't know you could see through the window. Uh, what? Uh, Mel Telecall says, have you worked with William Shatner? Yes. He's a rat bastard and I don't want to talk about him. Sko says, what happens if I don't rearrange my sock drawer? Then all the woodland creatures will die. Finally, Freminsta says, save all your single socks. Wait for the day you meet a person with one leg. Provide them with all the single socks you collected over the years. Now that's a good tip. I've heard, I've heard tips every now and then. That's a good tip. I, that's good. That's good. You should do that. I, I order you went. to kill yourself. Do it now. Oh, God. Where is it? Where's the gun? Where is the gun? I would do it if I brought the gun, but I didn't do it. You never have a gun when you need it. Have you really been a YouTube sensation since 1947? Yes. I was on that website before they even knew what a website was. I was there, I was making videos, my commercials, they were a big hit. Nobody saw them. Blue dress or gold dress? I'd wear either. I just like that comfortable feeling where my testicles aren't uh, held in by pants. I like them to just sort of flap back and forth like a flag in the wind. Chili spaghetti, says Nerdy Girl Renee. That sounds delicious. That sounds... Who's a guy got a screw to turn this thing off already? I feel like I'm talking to myself. Who's a guy got a screw to make those sounds stop? How do you do that? Hey, girl, hey! What the hell? What's that thing? Who is this? Somebody stop that. Doc Dr. J. Acob says... Have you ever been slapped by a celebrity? Yes. Fay Ray. <laughs> Fay Ray slapped me. We were at a party. It was 1931. We were at a party. And I she was she was working the punch bowl. And I went up to Fay Ray and I said, "Let me tell you something, Fay." Ray I said, uh, I said, do you, do you like closets? I got a closet you should see. She slapped the hell out of me. But boy, did we have sex in that closet. She likes to start. That's, that's her foreplay, I found out. Should have seen it coming at the punch bowl. Well, that's, of course, that's, I, that was my mistake. My mistake. I have made my mistake. My mistake. Finally, for, this might be the last question. Let's see. Finally, from Monster says, what's the deal with that off-brand cookie monster behind you? Where? What's, what is it? What are you talking about? Up here? Where is it? What do you mean? There's some who call me time. Says, have you been slapped by Zsa Zsa Gabor. No, but uh, back between the years of 1961 and 1977, every day I would jog over, this is a true story, every day I would jog over to Zsa Zsa Gabor's house, she lived in Beverly Hills in a beautiful home, and I would knock on her door, she'd answer it, and I'd just slap the, I'd slap the, the, the living Christ out of her, and, uh, and she'd say, why, why did you, why did you do that? And I'd say, see you tomorrow, and she'd say, okay, Yeshman, see you tomorrow. Close the door, I, every single day, from February 19th, 1961, 
until until the end of of 1977. It was a it was a wonderful thing. It was wonderful. There's nothing like slap just to start your day. To slap Jaja Gabor to start off your day is wonderful. <laughs>